This video and every video on this channel is made possible by your support on patreon.com slash 616 entertainment. I couldn't do this without you and your contributions keep this channel alive. You can also grab an official shirt over on prowrestlingtees.com slash 616 entertainment. What's up, Dan Dans? My name is Ian. Welcome to Let's Play Friday. Let's play some Pride Fighting Championships. Oh my goodness gracious, look at the presentation here. Now, if you do not recognize the two men before you, on the left, that is Vanderlei, the axe murderer Silva. Right now, okay, goddammit, they're, they're messing the cameras around on me. That's Igor Vavchanchin. That's Vanderlei Silva. I am playing as Vanderlei. And, uh, I haven't played this game in forever, and I'm getting fucked up already. This is a... Jesus, Igor, goddamn! I'm trying to look good on Let's Play Friday, help me out here! Huh, no! <laughs> He's beating my shit in! Goodness gracious, Dan Dan's, let's go for the takedown right there. Put him on his back, try to regain... Oh, no! He caught me! No, no, no! Get off! <laughs> How many of you have played this game? This is back before, I got the full mount now, Igor. This is back before MMA games kind of had their their resurgence, their rebirth with UFC 2009 Undisputed. This is, um, this is a PS2 game. Oh, we caught him. Oh, I thought we were going to lock up that Americana there. Vanderlei Silva was not much of a ground expert. It's not to say that he couldn't grapple. But, he wasn't looking for, uh, for hammer locks and key locks very often, was he? I need to- we're just going back and forth here with these sweeps. I need this boy off of me! Get off of me, sucker! I don't know how to get up. Let's get him, let's get him! Got him, got him! Submission in the first round! God damn, Dan Dan's clearly, this is back from a time where MMA games were much more arcadey than they are now. Even UFC 2009 Undisputed was still arcadey. You could still kind of mash and get away with it, but this was another era entirely. Check that out. Vanderlei Silva, the winner by first round submission with that Americana. The classic weird ass pose that he does. <laughs> now I wanted to start off hot and I wanted to start with a fight before I show you guys any menus, but look at this roster here. We got Akira Shoji. Some of these are deep cuts like Alexander Otsuka. Not all of you guys will recognize them, but Dan Henderson would go on to win titles in Strike Force in the UFC. Carlos Newt is an OG. Uh, Gary Goodridge, who uh, was on my podcast years ago, great guy, Gilbert Ivel, Guy Metzger, who trained under Ken Shamrock. And I figure a lot of people watching this episode uh, are wrestling fans, so let's do Ken Shamrock proud, and we're going to put him in there against, oh dude, Ken Shamrock, Don Fry, one of the great fights of, of all time in Pride history. If you have never seen Ken Shamrock versus Don Fry, like I said, one of the all-time greats now, Don Fry would walk away with the decision in that fight. Uh, spoiler, sorry if you haven't seen it. It was like over, it might have been 20 years ago. <laughs> it might, it seriously might have been 20 years ago. Um, but in that fight, Don Fry got the better of the stand up exchanges. He dropped Ken several times, but Ken broke both of Don Fry's ankles in that fight, allegedly. That's the, that's the word on the street. Oh, Don Fry with a vicious uppercut! Now we're playing as Ken here. Look at this! Oh, I was looking for that double leg. Didn't didn't exactly get it there. Uh, we're looking for Ken Shamrock's revenge here because there never was. Come here, bitch. Got him, got him, got him. Ankle lock right in the beginning. Less than a minute in. Don Fry secured top. Uh, take two. Don Fry secured top position. Thought he was safe. Forgot he was dealing with the world's most dangerous man. Are you out of your ass? Come on now. Now, was that an ankle lock? No. But I know you guys are wrestling fans, so I called it an ankle lock. Technically, that was uh, a foot lock. Whatever you want to call it. But we're flying through these fights here, man. Let's do another one. Let's get another crazy one going. Let's, uh... 
You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a classic Pride Freak Show fight. Ken Shamrock against Semi Shilt. Now, why is this a Freak Show fight? Because Semi Shilt is damn near seven feet tall. A shoot, six foot eleven. He's a big time striker. We're gonna see if we can take this guy down and submit him. Now, if you're not a big Pride Fighting Championship fan, when I say freak show fights, this isn't even much of a freak show fight, as you can see the size disparity here. Um, but this isn't necessarily a freak show fight because both of these guys would qualify for heavyweight. Ken fought at heavyweight a number of times across his career. Debuted as a heavyweight back in, uh, back in the old days of the UFC. But Pride would do fights where they would literally take like a 160 pound guy and oh no, the tie clinch. And they'd put him in there with like Emmanuel Yarborough, who was 400 plus pounds. So when I say freak show, Pride didn't give a fuck about weight classes or anything. I have never seen Ken do a standing switch kick. That's a little insane. And Semi Shield is finding us here, unfortunately. So we gotta create some distance. We're gonna put a plan together here. Uh, what? Oh, fuck. Okay, he stuffed us twice. That's not good. I got an idea. Oh, God, oh, fuck. <laughs> Standing on the outside of this, this ham hawk is not really a good idea. Okay, we got the clinch. Got, nope, we don't got the clinch. All right, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, I, there we go. I want to catch a strike. That's what I want to do. Come here, come here. Oh, no, that didn't work. All right, we got to get this guy on the ground. No, oh, no. <laughs> This is not going well! Hoot! Shit! Hoot! Shit! No, 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 we're fucked. We're totally fucked. Come here! Come here! You son of a fuck! Come here! Hoot! Oh! <laughs> fuck! God damn! A straight right hand. You know what? I don't want to say we got knocked out with a jab, so we're gonna call that, uh, you know, it was a stepping straight right. That makes us sound a little tougher, right? Ah, fuck. Alright, we got knocked shitless right there but you know what i think it, it's it's only fair in this day and age of the ufc where they're they're constantly booking automatic rematches and trilogies i think we need another go at this big son bitch shilt versus shamrock two come on i'm not fucking around this time oh god damn it i don't think he's fucking around either all right i'm not afraid of you sucker <laughs> show me a thing or two about a thing or two you think you're so big and bad? Oh, he is big and bad. God. Oh, no! Oh, he's disgusting! His strikes are making me sick! Oh, god damn it! <laughs> oh, got him, got him, got him! Shit, thought I had him. How about this? Looking for the neck crank. We didn't get the neck crank, but now we are in full mount. And we got the arm bar! How about it? Oh, man. He started off hot. Once again, but it wasn't enough. You understand? It wasn't enough. Ken Shamrock gets the mount, and when the world's most dangerous man is on top of you, that spells doom. D double O M. You understand? Not good for Semi Shill. But what did I just say? I said this is uh, in MMA, this is the age of the, the rematch, the age of the trilogy. It's one to one. I think it's only fair. <laughs> and then we'll do something else, I promise. It's only fair that we do Shamrock Shield 3. We gotta find out who's truly the better man. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't want to find out that he is the better man. I think, I think we are gonna be the better man. Look at the blood effects on the map. I love it. Oh, oh! The THQ logo, a thing of the past nowadays. Much like Pride Fighting Championship. Oh, no! Got him, got him! Snuck in and got him! What do you think about this? Got the Kimura early in round one! Come on, sucker! You think Ken Shamrock gets that side mount? He's not gonna lock up a Kimura? I wish Ken was this good in real life. <laughs> not, no, no disrespect to, the, to the, the leader of the lion's den, you know? The world's most dangerous man. But at the end of the day... Ken stuck around in, in MMA way too long. Um, didn't look good towards the end of his career, but we're doing him justice here. 
I'm having a hell of a time here, man. These fights fly by. You know, I love MMA sims. I love games that are more realistic because it gives me that real MMA feel. But I sometimes it's it's fun to come back and play the arcadey ones. Okay, Hoist Gracie, a legend of the game. I think, you know what, we just played as a grapple heavy guy in Ken Shamrock, now I'm thinking we go Gary Goodridge, whose style they put as arm wrestling, which I guess is technically true, um, but Gary Goodridge is a great striker as well. Here's what I think we're going to do, we're going to be Gary Goodridge, we're going to go up against Antonio Rodrigo Minotauro Noguera. Now we're going to face a grappler, I think now we're going to try and stay on our feet and keep this guy away from us. That's my plan. What do you think? You think we can enact this plan? You think we can do Gary Goodridge proud? I'm excited, man. And Dan Dance, I have heard the requests uh, to do more combat sports content. Uh, boxing games, MMA games. This is one of my biggest interests. And I've always said, you know, the content on the channel is going to continue to evolve. You're going to always see new stuff. I'm doing my best to bring in more, um, more variety here. Oh, fuck! I'm doing my best to bring... No, 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 no! No, no, no! Flying triangle! He looked for it immediately! Knee bar! Knee bar! Oh, this is bad! Gary, get out of here! Gary, get out of here! No! How do I get out of here? Fuck! Oh, I'm in a bad way. I feel like Johnny Knoxville fighting Butterbean. I'm just fucked. No, no, no. Get off my leg. No, no, no. Looking for the neck. Looking for the legs. I don't even have time to like... No, 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 no. I, I don't have time to do anything. Son of a bitch. Oh, this is way harder than I thought it was going to be. Get off of me. How do I get out of here? Oh, we're just fucked. <gasps> we did it. We got to our feet. We got we to gotta make it count. No, no, no. Get off me. Yes. Oh shit, Dan Dans, I'm sorry, if you, I feel like this is an episode of Always Sunny in Philadelphia, I'm just screaming over and over, but I'm scared, don't you understand? I'm scared, this guy means business, but I do too, come here sucker, <laughs> I'm here to do my buddy Gary Goodridge proud, Gary Goodridge, why am I going for, this was so, okay, you know what, we're on top, we're gonna, we're gonna pound this guy out from the top, boom, boom, Nope, bad, bad, bad. No, 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 get off me, get off me, son of a bitch. Gary Goodridge um, agreed to do my podcast at a time where there was, like, nobody listening to the podcast. Seriously, like, 40 people. And that's how cool... Oh, that doesn't even make any sense. See, that's what happens when you play these arcadey games. It doesn't even have to make sense. I just had no health, so he hits me with a body shot while I was on top for the finish. You know what we're gonna say? We're gonna say that in one of those initial exchanges, um, we cracked our floating rib. That's what happened. So when he hit us there on that side, the pain was just unbearable. But seeing as though uh, the fight was ended due to an injury, here's what we're gonna say. We're, we're, this is two years later, you know, Noguera went on to win and lose the title. We are now climbing back up the ranks. Oh yeah! No, 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 get away! We're climbing back up the ranks and now we have met once again Noguera Goodridge 2. You know what I'm saying? See, you gotta you got attach the stories sometimes. Oh, that's beautiful. Back, back, square. Oh, dude, we're gonna knock him out with that. I love that punch. It's like a step in overhand left, which is just tremendous. Get away from me, you son of a bitch. But yeah, oh no, how did you get on top of me already? But yeah, Dan Dan's, I asked Gary Goodridge years and years ago, had to be seven years ago, if he wanted to do my podcast. And uh, he literally just DM'd me back on Twitter and was like, yeah, okay. And we had an awesome conversation. Uh, that podcast is no longer up. It has been lost to time. But uh, I have I have it stored away in the archives. Don't worry. It's not really lost to time. It's just not readily available anymore. But uh, yeah, great dude. Gary has... Um... No, no, fuck! Okay, he caught me that triangle fair and square. Gary has um, suffered... And I guess it kind of comes with the territory. Some, um, some traumatic brain injuries... And 
his quality of life wasn't it's not what it once was you know he struggles with it every day so if you want to go out of your way to follow Gary Goodrich on Twitter, uh, he'd probably be happy about that. Say some encouraging things to him. Uh, that'd probably make his day. Just like he's made our day so many times with all the entertainment. But you drop two to Nogara back to back. You know, he, won, he, he, did his, he did his thing. We can't be mad at him for that. I'm thinking now what we should do. We don't have Mauricio Shogun Hua here, but we have his brother, Murilo Ninja Hua. How about it? Nubahiko Takata. You guys want to hear something funny? Uh, pro wrestling fans most likely know who this was. Takata, back at Pride 1, the first Pride event back in 1997, fought Mark Coleman. I'm getting some text messages here. He fought Mark Coleman, and uh, Pride, back in the day, had worked fights on occasion. Not all the time, but sometimes they would work fights, and Mark Coleman totally takes a dive at Pride 1 and uh, get submitted by Takata. If you did not know that, now you know. So that's how you lose credibility as an organization. Pride is also really fucked up in the sense that two presidents of the Pride organization committed suicide by hanging themselves in public parks. Uh, pretty much in the same spot. Now, did Pride have ties to the Yakuza? Yes, they did. Did these guys really commit suicide? Hey. You tell me, okay? <laughs> Some weird shit. All right. Guy Metzger, Hoist Gracie. We're going to face another grappler. We're going to see if we can survive. This could have been a fun fight, Metzger and Hoist Gracie. This could have been good. If you guys have not seen, I want to say it was Pride 14, where Chuck Liddell came over to Pride, and he fought Guy Metzger. It was Chuck's first fight in Pride. Great fight. And Chuck scored one of, in my opinion, one of his career best knockouts in that fight. Knocks out Guy against the ropes. Just tremendous. We gotta do, we gotta do Guy proud here. Now they put Hoist in the blue gi, which was not, fuck. It was not something he wore very often. And uh, it's, a it's a little weird to see it. No, no, no. Wait, what are you, was he trying to let me up? If he wants to let me up, I'm game for that. Or I'll just sweep him and- No, 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 fuck! I'll sweep him and just push his shit in, you understand? Go ahead, go ahead, I got your timing down now, sucker. Oh, fuck. <laughs> but Dan Dan's, while we are doing this, I would like to ask you guys, what are your favorite combat sports games? <laughs> Are you Fight Night fans? Do you like the THQ UFC games? Uh, do you like the EA UFC games? Let me know. Okay, this move that I'm doing as Guy Metzger from the bottom is just a stall. That's literally just, I'm holding him down on it. So I guess that's how we can try and make it through this round, because I don't know how to get up. I really don't. Oh, I think triangle and square. I can catch strikes? Let's try that. We gotta time him, though. Got him! Oh, beautiful stuff! Hey, Hoist, I bet you didn't see this coming! Oh, shit! He did. <laughs> he did see it coming. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! He caught my punch! That was my move! We're in big trouble now. <gasps> Our only hope is to... Oh, God. This is a... This is a, this is a grappling... We gotta survive the round. We gotta survive the round. No! 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 Oh! Oh! oh we got it! We got it! 30 seconds! And it's it's in fast forward time. Can you believe that? This is the first fight where we have gotten out of the first round. And look at the presentation here. This is why uh, on the life and death of EA Sports MMA, which is one of my only videos that has been fucked over by YouTube recently. Thanks a lot. Um... I put this game over, and I mentioned this game several times. Of all of the um, the MMA games that were made in this era, which this is still running on the engine that the old UFC games ran on, this is the best one by far. This one started to introduce oh, a little more realism, and oh, it's just more um, realistic overall. The presentation is there. It looks the way Pride events actually looked. Gotcha, bitch! 
Here we go. This is this is how we put him away. Right here. Fuck. Oh, he's so fast. Oh, we're fucked again. We're fucked again. I don't know how much time we have left, but we're not in good shape. We gotta try and coax him into striking. Come here. Gotcha. What do you think of... Oh, he's not playing. He's really not playing. We gotta, we gotta flip him over, or we can last through the round. Can we make it? We can make it, unless he goes for a submission. No, no, no! No, no, no! No, no, no! Oh, how did we survive? We have no health. Danan, this is down to the wire. This is exciting. <laughs> but look at the, the guys in the corner. The coach is giving advice. They're rubbing the knee because they know he's got some knee issues. Guy Metzger rocking those knee pads. If you guys don't know much about MMA strategy, actually wearing wrestling shoes and knee pads is a horrible idea if you're in there with a jiu-jitsu practitioner because that's just extra traction. You know, you want to get sweaty. You want to be able to slip out of these positions. You don't want to... Oh, that was beautiful, but it didn't work. You don't want to give these guys... Oh. You don't want to give these guys something else to hold on to, you know? We got to get him off the top. Come here. Oh, no. We, it's our only hope is to flip him and submit him. But I can't even flip him. I can't flip him. Flipped him. Come here. Gotcha. Oh, fuck. It's so scary. It's so scary. If this goes to decision, we lose. So I have to try and get this submission. No, no, no. Oh, this is so exciting. This is a nail biter. Oh, come on, man. A heel kick to the fucking kidney from the bottom. Oh, one of the greatest fights that's ever been on this channel. And it ends like that. What kind of excuse can we come up with for that? How do we make up for what's our storyline there? We already used the injury excuse when we were Gary Goodridge. I think we need a real winner. I think we need Gracie Metzger too. I think we need a real winner. I think we need Gracie Metzger too. And I know I'm totally guilty of the bullshit booking with all these rematches, but oh, he's looking for judo throws now, sucker. But I'm not satisfied with that with that ending. I'm not satisfied with that at all. I haven't landed dick or shit on him. He's blocked everything. Gotcha, bitch. Caught that strike. He caught mine immediately after. I guess when you get in here with Hoist Gracie, this is to be expected. But, no, 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 he's looking for the neck crank. But I'm not, I'm just not happy with how that went. I want somebody to get knocked out. I want somebody to get submitted. I want it to go to a, a, a fair decision. And I don't feel like, no, I don't feel like that's what we experienced there. So here we are in the rematch. <laughs> Dan Ads, I'm not really sure what order I'm going to air. Fuck. These episodes. No, he got us fair and square that time. I'm not sure what order these episodes of Let's Play Friday are going to air in. I think, let's see, today is Valentine's Day. I think you guys are going to see this the, uh, the week after the week of Valentine's Day. So the next episode of Let's Play Friday will be the season 5 finale. It'll be episode 36 of season 5. We're at damn near 150 episodes of Let's Play Friday. Can you believe that? But the season finale, we're going to go back to the roots. We're going to play Ninja Gaiden on NES. I hope you guys are excited for that. And then uh, it's going to be time to bring in a new crop of shows. At the time you're seeing this, Monday Night Blitz may or may not be over. So, fun stuff on the horizon. Lots of new stuff on the horizon. We're going to go Dan Henderson versus... Who are we going to put Dan Henderson against? How about, we gotta go Ninja, right? Dan Henderson versus Ninja. I'm gonna make another fight recommendation to you here. If you have never seen Dan Henderson's two fights in the UFC against Ninja's brother, Shogun, 
I highly recommend you go out of your way to watch them. Shogun versus Henderson 1 is one of the greatest fights of all time. Across any sport, across any organization. Shogun Henderson won one of the best. And I'm thinking this will be the main event here on Let's Play Friday this week. And Ninja is coming out hot. So oh my god, these combinations are pushing my shit in. Oh, what a step in uppercut. Holy Christ. Okay, I wasn't prepared for this. I've been fighting too many grapplers. I'm so defense focused right now. Come here. Oh no, that's brutal. Come here. Oh my god, kick the leg out of the leg. Someone call Owen Hart. That was beautiful. You know what? That finish actually makes a lot of sense. Some of you who are not MMA fans might be like, oh, he just kicked him in his leg. See how we planted on that leg, looking for the double leg takedown, and he snapped it? Beautiful stuff. Dan Nans, this was Pride FC on the PlayStation 2. Next week is the season finale of Let's Play Friday. I love ya. Consider heading over to patreon.com slash 616entertainment. I'll see you next week.